Hey guys, Nathan from Build Crash Fix here. Uh, this is going to be my first video, and it's going to be on um, setting up your magnetometer in Betaflight. Uh, I myself was having issues where it was not showing up, um, and I couldn't see a setting to turn it on or, or anything clearly visible. After doing some quick Googling, I couldn't find anything. Uh, so I resorted to the GitHub. I searched through the issues for very general stuff, and I... I found st something on um, a barometer setup that fixed my problem. So now this is going to be if you have a GPS with a compass or just a compass, but it's wired up to uh, I2C ports on your flight controller. Um, I know you can wire up the IT I2C from your GPS to an TX and RX on your flight controller, but the process may not be the same. Uh, this is if you have the S SDA and SCL pads on your flight controller itself. Um, so uh, the setup is pretty easy. I'm just going to plug in your quad and uh, go right into the CLI. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is set barrow underscore, or sorry, set mag underscore hard, hardware equal to auto. Usually it's already set to that, but uh, you can go ahead and try. Then you're going to set barrow underscore. I keep saying barrow because I'm copying from this GitHub issue. Um, and it's about a barometer, but it's set mag uh, bus type equal to I2C. Yeah, and then set mag uh, I2, yeah, I2C device. Yeah, device equal to 1. And that's it. You're just going to hit save after that. Press enter. Flight controller reboot. I've already done it, so I'm not going to hit save. Uh, but you'll get back in here. You may need to plug in a battery um, and like disconnect. I had to. So if I go to setup now, I think the magnetometer. Oh, it's still there. Um, but you may need to set up a battery or plug in a battery if it's powered off battery and not from like a 5 volt pad or something. It just depends on how you have it wired up. Um, but it should show up there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you're going to want to calibrate your magnetometer, uh, but I wouldn't recommend doing that inside. You should probably do that every time you fly actually. And there's a stick command for that. Um, I think it's, I can't remember off the top of my head, but if you just look up, uh, magnetometer calibration stick command beta flight, it'll pop right up. Um, and so you should do that in the field every time you fly and, uh, you'll, you'll do the calibration stick command. Uh, rotate on all the three axes um, and then it'll be calibrated and your return to home will work much better and your um, heading will be correct if you have that in your OSD uh, and yeah it'll be uh, just uh, you should turn the magnetometer on if you have it um, so yeah that's about it uh, I'll be trying to put out some more videos so if you guys like these short little helper videos uh, let me know and if you have any questions leave them in the comments I'll, I'll try and help you out if I can I'm by no means an expert or a dev for beta flight or anything like that. So, um, but I'll do what I can. All right. Thanks guys. See you.